You know, I did not expect ChatGPT to help me write a birthday card, fix my Wi-Fi, and lift my mood all in one week. But that is exactly what happened. In this episode, one of three, I will show you three surprising everyday uses that completely caught me off guard and might just become your daily routine. Let's go. Hi, I'm Dave, and welcome to Smart Tech for Any Age. Today's video is episode one of three of the 10 surprising everyday uses for ChatGPT. This series is designed to help you, especially if you're over 50 like me, get the most out of this amazing new AI technology. Now, if you're new to ChatGPT, or maybe you heard it on the news, you're not alone. A lot of people think it's just for techies or kids in school. But here's the truth. ChatGPT can help you with your real life things. And it is easier to use than you might think. Today, I'm walking you through three surprising ways I personally use it every day in my day-to-day -day life, and I will show you how. Now, I'm going to move pretty quickly today to cover more ground, but if one of these uses speaks to you, drop me a comment below. Let me know which one. And I just might make a full-length video all about that topic. This channel isn't just mine. It's ours. And your feedback helps shape how we grow together. Let's get started. Let's start with something we all do. Sending a card, writing a note, or just simply replying to an email. Recently, I had to write a birthday message to a close friend. He's turning 60. I've known him for decades, but I just could not find the right words. So I gave ChatGBT a shot. Here's what I did. I typed in, help me write a warm and personal birthday message for a 60 year old friend. We've known each other for a long time. Let's see what we get. In just a couple of seconds, I got a warm, personal message that I can tweak to my style. Let's give it a look. Happy birthday. We put on my friend's name here. Hardly believe it's been all these years since college, all the stuff we did. And it kind of talks about celebration of wisdom, laughter, and memories we've all collected for a long time. And it's great. Now, if this is too long, or if I want to tweak it or personalize it a little more, we can easily do that. Let's say this is a little too long for the card that I want. I can just tell it to shorten it by half. And it does exactly that for us. It keeps the same vibe, the same feeling, the same sentiments. And I can go in and send this off. And he called me two days later and told me that's one of the nicest cards has ever received. Here are a few more prompt ideas you can try to help you write notes and cards. How about this one? What a short anniversary message for my wife. We've been married 27 years. Guys, we all need help with this one, right? Or something like this. Create a thank you card message for my doctor who's retiring. These are hard to say and they come up with the right words. ChatGPT can help us with that. And the last one, help me write a sympathy note for a neighbor who lost a pet. Let's see where we go with this one. Okay, and it even gave us three options with three different types of tones. This usage of ChatGPT takes something that might be stressful and it makes it simple. Hi, are you interested in a simple, downloadable, and free PDF file that teaches you how to go from a beginning chat GPT user to semi pro. Well, I made one for you and you get it now, right now by clicking the very top link below. It's called chat GPT guide for seniors explained in plain English. Grab it right now. All for free. Now let's get back to learning. 
Now let's talk about something that drives me crazy. Tech problems. A few weeks ago, my iPad would not connect to my Wi-Fi network. I did not want to call tech support or my daughter. So I opened up ChatGPT and I typed this. My iPad won't connect to Wi-Fi. Walk me through how to fix it step by step like I'm a novice. Let's see what happens. Okay, in really gentle language, it's telling me to check some basics and a few simple steps that I can follow along with my iPad in hand. You know what? This actually worked. And here are two more tech-related prompts that you can use in your everyday life. I know I do. How about this one? What do I do when my printer says it's offline? Or with the spam problem these days, this one's really handy. Explain how to unsubscribe from junk mails, like I'm brand new to tech. Let's give this one a look. Okay, I love this. It gives us a four-step approach on how to combat email spam. Look for the unsubscribe link. Make use of the spam folders. We can go further and block a sender and use some filters. And it gives simple and easy steps to follow. No long phone calls, no tech jargon. Just clear help, like having your own personal tech coach. Now here's a bonus tip for this one. It's, this is even more complex than you would like. Try this prompt right afterwards. Use beginner friendly language. And it will repeat those steps in even more simple everyday language. It really works. Okay, now this third one, I did not see it coming. I started using ChatGPT as part of my morning routine. One day I woke up and I was feeling just a little off. So I asked it this, give me a positive thought to start my day. Let's see what this positive thought is. All right, every sunrise is an invitation to start. Fresh energy, choices, and freedom. Try a different story. That really hit me. And it worked. So I asked it again the next day and the next. Now I use it daily for little tiny pick-me-ups, for things like gratitude questions, reflection prompts, journal ideas, and even short calming routines. Here are two more prompts for your morning positivity and gratitude routine. Try this one. What's one good thing I can focus on today? Or maybe this one. Share a quote about aging gracefully. Let's see what we get with this. Do not regret growing older. It's a privilege denied to many. Wow, that really has home for me. Give it a try with your morning coffee. Make it part of your routine, just like reading the paper or feeding the cat. You don't really need a journal. Just ask a question. Sometimes that's enough. So there you have it. Three surprising everyday uses for ChatGPT. Let's quickly recap. You can use it to write thoughtful cards or notes. It is wonderful at helping you fix tech problems using simple everyday language. And third, use it to start your day with a clear, positive mindset. In the upcoming episodes, I will show you even more ways to use ChatGPT, surprisingly, in your everyday life, including one that saves me over $100 at a grocery store. And if you want a head start, I made a free downloadable PDF file. The link is below. It's called ChatGPT Guide for Seniors. Learn it in plain English. You can see the link. Click on it, and it'll be delivered to your mailbox directly. And it's free. If you like this content, please help support this channel by clicking like and subscribe. You know somebody that can use this info? 
share it with them. And please check out these couple videos that YouTube thinks you would enjoy as well. I will see you in the next episode. Bye.